wants to see us transform a bedroom in 24 hours. I do, and that's also what I have to do today because Jewelux have asked me to create an inspiring bedroom look for their 2022 color forecast. There's much to do, let's go. Hey Dusty. actually one of the bedrooms in our new house. Lots to love in this room, but there's also a lot that is not the best. So the walls just need to be cleaned. I need to make sure I sand these back, give them a good sugar soap, and also tape off lots of sort of old fix, uh, fittings and fixtures. Do you know what I just discovered not long ago? What? There's little nails in like every wall. Everywhere, and right? Look, one, yeah. two. On the floor, well, down there. I, I will put hand up for nail removal, Jono. Right. I shall do that. I'll make sure all the surfaces are beautiful because I'm going to be painting this bad boy. So I'm going to make sure it's all nice and ready to go. This window, I need to just clean it up. I don't have a great deal of time. So aesthetically, it just needs to be cleaned. I might put some curtains up there and make it pretty er than it is right now. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Switch around. I want to show you over here. Ceilings, love them, right? Am I right? Not gonna touch these guys. I do love them very, very much. But I just want to add some new levels because it's very intense. So what I want to do, Joe, are you paying attention? Is this a add to my list job? Absolutely. Yeah. So what I want to do is to create a nib wall that runs the full width of this bedroom. That way it's basically creating a nice focal point, essentially creating a bed head. In terms of furniture, I'm gonna keep it quite simple, but I do wanna bring in a couple of key pieces. I'd love to have an occasional over here in the corner. I think it'd be beautiful because there's no robes. So it would be great to get a dresser. So we actually have somewhere to put clothing. Um, and other than that, it's just a nice cleanup. We don't have long, so it's just doing what we can to make this visually look Absolutely spectacular. Oh, grab the tools, oh. get the tape. Yeah, let's measure. So, what I have discovered is that we have got a wasp's nest that is very happy and planted inside our window. So, I'm going to show you a really easy way to get rid of that. Jono. You're gonna have to get rid of that. Is that your easy yeah. way? Yeah, good one. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, uh-oh. I just took off half the wall. I'll Wait. fix that later. Yeah, I'll do it. that's good. Oh, there's some of your favorite bugs. What? Those little slaters. Slaters. The only slater that's okay by me is Christian Slater. So what are you doing? Moving timber because I don't have any space. Um, okay, then what are you doing? Cutting timber. So how do you build a nib wall? Oh shit. You're saying I'm rushing oh you. My God. <laughs> I don't have like the setup workshop yet. I've just got what do you mean? wrap everywhere. You've got your tool thingy here. Yeah, but I've just You've got your stuff. workbench that's full of stuff. Yeah, there's no power You've in here got... either. 12.50. 12.50. Yep. Minus 90. 1160. What's that? <coughs> 
So we make a top plate, a bottom plate, and then the uprights will be 1160, and then that'll make it, because these are 45. Okay. 45, 45 is 90, 1160 will make you 1250. Love it. Go, you good thing. <laughs>
room. Tell you what, it is a brand new room. Massive night of painting. I mean, massive. Lights have gone in, and this is what you've done as well, Jono. I love this. Love it. What, yeah. was this Tazio? Yeah, managed to find a little slab of tazzy oak at Bunnings last minute that was like the perfect size, so I didn't have to cut it. I just had to trim the length. It and is then beautiful. Give it a sand. And I like your little lip. You said you were going to do that, and that actually looks really nice. Well, I think so. the lip just kind of finishes it off. It, it makes does. it look neater. Otherwise, you've got to do some sort of weird detail with the top of the VJ Yeah, panel. I can't wait to start this. This is very exciting. I've got the lights on because it's so dark. We've had like hella storm since last night. But yeah, we've got power, we've got lights, so now we need to, I guess before, maybe we bring furniture Window in. furnishings. Window furnishings. Strong? Happy with the curtains? I am like legit stoked because these have just made this feel like cozy and bedroom worthy and this fabric is ridiculously beautiful. Like that used to be an eyesore, like horrific and now beautiful window looking out onto a bunch of black <laughs> but it still looks nice. Got some landscaping to do out there, but inside, rocking it. Final bits and bobs. I just need to get it ready for a photo shoot. This is the fun bit, Jono. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay. All right, shelf okay. time. What's going on your shelf? Oh my God, I've got so many pretty things. I can't wait to play. Let's play. It's very exciting. May have taken us 48 hours and <laughs> not 24. But, you know, beauty takes time, doesn't it, Jai? Your work takes time. Oh, are you blaming me? I just did speed styling, all right? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. No, I, I don't am know. seriously loving this color. Sick. I think it's beautiful. It's like seriously edible. And um, I can't wait to. Uh, Get this photo shoot done. All right, let's go. Ready? You got everything? I've got everything. Okay, let's go. new bedroom. What do you think? Personally, I love it. Do you love it, Jono? Yeah, it's <laughs> way better than another one. So this was actually all in aid of the Dulux 2022 colour forecast and they gave me a colour to work with which was New Penny. So this is part of their Restore collection of colours and it's very earthy, lots of warm neutral tones, also a lot of mossy greens as well, lovely soft butter creams. This colour for the walls, so we've painted all of the walls, so it really does change the tone of this room. Before it was very white, so it was very high contrast with the timber ceilings, whereas now it's actually complementing it quite well and it 
creates a wonderful warm cocoon, but it does make it a lot, a lot darker. So for that, I've chosen to brighten up a few of the other decor pieces in the room. On the bed, I chose this sage linen. So this is from Milk and Sugar and I paired it with their natural flax. So that's a lovely, just very minimal contrast. I just wanted something very neutral to sit on the bed and to play with some of these green tones. I picked that up in this vase. This is a lovely vase, which has got a nice green hue to it. And also this beautiful artwork as well. I love the green in there. I love those mossy tones and it picks up on some of those pinks, which work beautifully with the new penny on the walls. So this is Jono's special, this beautiful nib wall made from Tasmanian oak. We actually gave it a coat of the intra-grain. We used the satin finish, didn't we, Jono? Yeah, we did. Um, we did two coats. Actually, I gave that a cheeky third coat as well when you weren't watching uh, <laughs> for last night. But this works beautifully well. And again, it's about that natural, warm, earthy tone. So I think the timber really added to that. This is, I really wanted to bring some handmade pieces into this space because it needed to be earthy and I wanted it to feel handmade. So we've got these beautiful pieces here. This is a Bridget Bottenham piece. There's a clay studio piece over there. The VJ panel that we chose to bring to this bed head, that was super important because the walls were very flat and just, they're not that great either. So I thought if we're gonna actually build in an additional wall, I wanted to bring some more texture. I wanted to play with the paneling that's happening on the ceiling, link to that, bring it in here, and it just helps to bring a bit more of a kind of textural warm feel to this bedroom. And it looks great when these lights are on. The lighting, so important. This room is quite dark. Our windows are quite small. It doesn't get a lot of natural light. So I was like, it doesn't matter if you don't have heaps of natural light, just embrace it and go for moody ambience, which is exactly what we've done here. I love these so much. Like, love them so much. So these are from Lights, Lights, Lights. These are actually the Nexus wall lights. They come in a few different colors, but I did really like the freshness of the white against that new penny. The curtains were super important in making this room beautiful. They really helped to add a sense of drama and to bring a lovely cozy element to this bedroom. Uh, these were from DIY Blinds. So this is actually the Satori Stonewash in chalk. Again, I chose this because of the linen nature. It's got a wonderful texture to it. So it links again to some of the other pieces in the room. And uh, it's very fresh, but mostly it serves two things. Not only does it look great, but it does hide some of those dodgier, unattractive elements of our window. And you know, that full height, the fact that I went wider than the window itself and I went as high as I possibly could, it just helps to create a larger, sense of your window and gives a bit more of a grand proportion to your space. So we've done the curtains here, we've done them twice. I actually chose to do a left stack here because this is actually a door, so I didn't want to get in the way of the door, but I really love the way that that can pull across. And then over here, we've got the Phoenicians and I chose these in timber. This is actually in golden oak and it's like the perfect match to our timber, which is wonderful. There we go. Yay. So can we talk about how epic this side of the room is? Because I was not expecting it to be this beautiful. <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, wow, I really like this side of the room. I thought that was gonna be the hero, which it is, but this is equally beautiful. So this bad boy, so this is um, the Kennedy Beckett sofa chair. Super comfy, also very important because the form that I wanted in this space was all about very sort of voluptuous curves, just to add a lovely sensual feeling to the space. This is actually from Globe West. Uh, also from Globe West is the Tempe Gradient rug. And I chose that rug in a two by three to be nice and generous to sit underneath the bed. And this dresser is absolutely beautiful. So this is the ambience dresser. This is from RJ Living. Very important because there was no storage in this room beforehand. So I, <laughs> for one, practicality reasons, it's great, but also I really wanted to bring in timber. Another beautiful Holly Evans piece. So this was um, the same artist that is behind the bed on the bed head. A couple of trinkets that I've brought in here. This is actually super beautiful. Look at this lamp. <gasps> It's dimmable and it just literally twists like that. You turn it off or on. So this is the easy peasy lamp. 
This is also from Lights, Lights, Lights. And up there as well, we've got a wonderful Olo wall light. That is from Lights, Lights, Lights. And it's also made by Softus, who we actually had a cheeky meet the maker on recently. Those boys are based up in Corumban. Beautiful ceramic pieces here as well. We've got an Alice Bell piece. This one is actually, I have absolutely no idea, but it is your mum's, Jono, and I stole it. So. We stole it from the other project. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Cute little Ivy Muse planter. And look, I like bringing in perfumes and a little place to store your jewels. For a bedroom, I think that's really important. Some of your, you know, most used items, it's always nice to be able to have a space for those. And I've got another little artwork here, white on walls. This is a beautiful piece, very fresh. It works in with some of these pops of white that really freshen up this space. And also the floor lamp from Milk and Sugar behind me. So that, ladies and gents, is the room. I love it. I hope you love it. Jono loves it. Don't you? Yeah, I'm moving in. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below and head over to Instagram as well uh, at Hunting for George. Let us know what you think because we'll be talking about it there. And um, yeah, hope this has inspired you to maybe make over your own bedroom or very least give your um, walls maybe a little lick of paint. New penny, highly recommend it. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to get rid of an unwanted wasp nest. And it goes like this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're laughing at your own joke and you haven't even said it yet. You're an idiot. Oh my God. <laughs> if you use them, hmm. have them like that and then you rock them. That's oh, about okay. it. Don't, if you go that, you'll just dig a hole in the thing. Gently caress it. Nailed it! Nailed it! Alright, done! Okay, sweet! sweet. Okay, done. and right. cut to finish, finish room! What happened? Mix too hard! I don't know my own strength. Just as I was finished. And it splattered and all over the deck. Yes, it did. Yeah. Lucky it's a nice colour. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look how good this room is. Oh my god. This is going to look so good. All of the mess, including the dog. Hey, Dusty. I'm all You're done. You're all finished.